Hey, good morning everybody, Sarasota Tim. Thanks for watching the video. Today is another social security video that I would like to um, make because I haven't made one in a while and a lot of people are now approaching uh, the retirement age and they may or may not know about certain things regarding the amount of money, what year you can collect and what are the rules. So I'm here this morning to try to go over just a few of them with you and to also continue to promote, as I always have, that you need to collect Social Security at day one, at age 62, the very first quickest time you can get it. And get your money, because you will get more money by collecting early than you will by collecting later, and I can prove it to you with the numbers right here. But before we get into that proof, let me first talk about a couple of things that in my earlier videos on Social Security, I um, kind of just stayed with the numbers and, and really neglected the main thing that people have to consider. And whether you're a man or a woman, if you are uh, in your late 50s and you're going to be 60 soon or you're 61 now and you're, you're thinking about, hey, 62, I can get Social Security. I found that <clears throat> when I started making videos about Social Security, quite a few people in our country were not even aware that they could collect at 62. They assumed they had to wait to at least 65 because that's when you can get Medicare. And you can get your money at 62, you can start drawing, but you don't have any health insurance until 65. Now that's a video for another day. But we're here to talk about getting your money because the longer you wait, the less you get. Uh, the old wise tale is the longer you delay, the more you get. Well, it's true and it's false. It's true that the longer you delay, the check amount will be bigger. Even if you waited till you were 62 months, uh, 62 years old, and one month, you would get a little bit more than you did at 62, and two months and three months, and you don't have to wait from 62 to 65 to 67, which is the full retirement age if you're born after uh, 1960, from 1960 on, um, that's what they call full retirement age, that you pretty much get the maximum. But that's not true either, because if you want to keep working up till 70, and, you know, and, and start collecting just before your funeral, at 70, they give you even an additional bonus. But very few do that. <laughs> but every month that you delay from 62 all the way till 70, you will get a little bit more money on the check, but not more money. Every month, like I just mentioned, that you delay up till 70 is how much you get less until you... Um, Assuming you only live to be 80 years old, you'll never surpass what you could receive if you get all your money, if you get your money at 62. All right, I don't want to confuse you, but look, there's only one reason and one reason only not to collect Social Security at 62. When you collect your Social Security, you have an earnings limit. Uh, there's a special rule in the first year. And then at 63, 64, and 65, uh, you got to watch how much you make or there's a penalty. They'll, they'll take some of your Social Security back. You can make quite a bit, but you can't make, you know, 100 grand. So, and then at full retirement age, at 67, uh, you can make all you want. But there's a bonus. The year that you're going to be full retirement age, <clears throat> until you get there, that year that you're going to be, that, that birthday year, you can make almost 60 grand. I mean, it is currently right now. It'll probably be at least that <clears throat> by then because it goes up every year. All right. So before we get into the numbers and show you how you get more money and you need to start collecting your Social Security at 62, unless you're making so much money and you love your job that you just want to keep doing what you're doing, in that case, this video is not for you. You keep on doing you. But if you're like the masses in this country 
and you're a person that was self-employed or you were a W-2 person, you had multiple careers and jobs in your life, and uh, you can have a pension or whatever, but you know you just don't have you know this high-paying job. You know the average income is 35 grand a year. If you divide every single person in this country, that's about all it is. I think the median household income is 59, maybe 69, somewhere 50, 60 grand per household. And then you've got people that are earning, you know, that are professionals, uh, medical, uh, that kind of thing that are earning 75, 80, 100 grand. And then you've got people that are, you know, business owners, corporate people and all that making, you know, the top 1%. <clears throat> so if you're like the masses, if you're like me, you worked hard all your life. Did you know that the average age for a male in the United States of America is only 73 years old? That's down from what it used to be just a few years ago. And that's a video for another time too, why we're dying earlier. Probably because of the food that we eat and the way they process it. But if you're 50 and you still got 12 years to wait till you can get your Social Security at 62, you're already way past your middle way point of your life because likely you're not going to live to be 100. Very few do. And if you did live to be 100, I mean, 30 years of those last years, 25 of them <clears throat> have got to be just existing. I mean, what really, you know, vibrant life are you having at 80s and 90s? <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> I got a problem with my voice. Um, so... You've got up until the age of, you know, I'm 65. I'm going to be 66 in a couple of months, and I'm slowing down. But I'm still pretty vibrant. I can only imagine exponential health decrease, which is what happens from 62 to 67. And I use those two numbers because that's the first age you can collect Social Security to the full retirement age of 67. There's a five-year window. And if you think about a 12-year-old kid and a 17-year-old kid, that's the same five-year window. Look at the growth. Look how a 12-year-old that goes from needing everything that mommy and daddy give them because they can't drive, they can't date, they can't marry, they can't work. They can only go to the bathroom by themselves. Everything else they need, a roof over their head, the food they eat, literally everything, clothes on their back, someone has to provide for them. But when you're 17... Here's a person uh, that can work, marry, make money, feed themselves, clothe themselves, drive an automobile, all the things pretty much that any other adult can do <clears throat> as early as 17. So look at the growth from five years. Now, let's use the other example. From 62, you're already way past the halfway point of 50, which is... Really, you're only at 40, you're going downhill because to live to be 80 is a long life. Okay. I know a lot of people live longer, but if the average age is 73, that means the middle weight point is 36 years old, 37 years old, somewhere in there. So at 50, you've got a lot less runway in front of you than you do behind you. You spent all these years to get to 62, and now you're looking at you know, a dozen years, a lot of people will agree with me that they know people, friends, family that die at 60, 62, 5, 7, 70, 68, 57. I mean, all in there, different things happen. Our health and our mental faculties and all the food that we've been eating all of our life, cancer, uh, heart attacks, and then the third leading cause of death, believe it or not, is going to the doctor. Medical errors. We're being put on so many prescription pills today. They're just throwing these pills at people that, you know, cure a headache, but make you think about suicide as a side effect. I mean, it's crazy. That's a video for another day, too. My point is, a 62-year-old to a 67-year-old that's going to wait for that bigger Social Security check de decreases in their life. Not everybody, but you decrease in your strength, 
your ability, your attitude, your desires, your values. Uh, your values probably go up, but I mean, you decrease in your abilities, your motor skills. And, um, you know, you can't run as fast. You can't jump as high. You lose your hair. <laughs> you know, all kinds of things, you know, your gizzards start to wear out. And um, you can get a, a stroke. You can get cancer. And then what happens? A lot of people that end up dying at that 73 average age take five years to do it. Take two years to do it because of a slow death because of a serious illness they get. Others get hit by a bus or drop dead of a massive heart attack. There's a thousand ways to die, but the point is the average age is 73. So what good would it do to keep working, which is stressful too in your life, unless you're the boss that sits back and does nothing, puts his feet up on the desk and just rakes it in, uh, but you're still away from home. You're still a prisoner. You still have to be there at a certain time until they say you can leave. And then you go home, you shower, you eat, you sleep. And they say, tomorrow morning, be back here. Even if you're the boss at this time, you're in a prison job. So if you want to be paroled and start living a life for you, and these are just sayings I have. I have a prison job. It's called YouTube. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> if you get out of that work at 62 and don't have to go to work for 40 or 50 or 60 hours a week anymore and you get your debt paid off before then, that's a key, and you only have what you need to live, uh, maybe you downsize even in your, uh, your home. Maybe you don't need a big home anymore. Your kids are grown. You don't need three, four bedrooms. You know, you don't need to be cutting grass. You want to, you know, get something smaller. Uh, or if it's all paid off, hey, kudos to you. You can just pay your taxes and, and float on. But um, get your life down to a minimal um, thing that you need. Less is more. It is a trend, and it has been a trend. I mean, I live in a camper. I live in a 25-foot trailer. I'm single. But if you get to be 62 and you're married, and both of you get your Social Security, I mean, that's a game changer. And I tell people about collecting Social Security at 62 that no matter how much your check is, you're, you're not going to be able to live on that, not a, not a lifestyle that you would like to live. So you need to work a side hustle. Well, there's two benefits. One is it keeps you young and healthy, but you're not going to work 40 or 50 hours. You're just going to do what you want to do, some easy job. In the air conditioning, maybe you have a, tr a trade, a skill set, and you just want to do something part-time uh, that you can, you know, advertise and work for yourself and make a couple of grand a month easily <clears throat> doing some kind of, of work. Um, but that's a game changer right there. So at 62, you still need to work. That's, that's number one. It keeps you young and healthy. And number two, it's a supplement to the Social Security that gives you the money that you're used to making when you did work. Because if you made that 60 grand a year household income, but you had to pay to go to work by putting gasoline in a car, maintaining that car, certain clothing you had to have, lunch money, this, that, and the other that costs money. You take that out of your paycheck every month of what it actually costs you to go to that job, and you're not making what you think you are. And then you got to pay taxes. And your taxes are a lot lower when you're on your Social Security and a part-time job, a side hustle. So you end up real close. So you say, why do I need to keep doing this gimmick? But the government tells you, if you wait and you keep paying us taxes and you keep in that workforce and you keep earning and putting that money in the kitty for us, we'll give you five, six, seven hundred dollars more money. If you wait years down the road, just before your funeral, we'll give you the bigger check amount, but you won't get any more money because you left over $100,000 on the table for five years that you delayed not collecting your Social Security. They don't tell you that. They always talk about you get a 30% reduction. If you wait from 70 to 62 or 67 to 70, uh, to back to 62, there's like a 30% less money amount you get. Yeah, on the individual check, not over your time of collecting. And I'm going to get to that right now. So 
what I always like to talk about before in these Social Security videos is forget the money. It's about what I just talked about. It's about me time. It's about you living your life because, look, the 62 to 67-year-old goes down in most cases. You're declining in your life. You're going to be going home to heaven soon. <laughs> you don't want to go tonight, though, right? I agree. Uh, everybody wants to go, but they don't want to go tonight. I'm just saying every year you will see an exponential decline in your life for most people. And each year you get over 62, you're closer to cancers, heart attacks, uh, diabetes, and other gizzard problems. So with the fact of knowing that your lifespan is already more than half after 35 years old, or 40, I should say, 50 for sure, then you wait 12 more years to get your check, and then you like get conned into waiting five more years of your best parts of your life, the final chapter, before you really start to go down, you're going to continue to give your life away to a prison job versus giving your yourself rewarding you for everything you've done all your life. You provided a life for your children, your spouse, yourself. You've worked, you've saved, you've bought cars and homes and, and all these different things. You've invested your money. Now it's time for you. Do you really think that that five, six, seven hundred dollars more they're going to give you working five more years is going to give you a big change in your life in retirement? I'm here to prove it to you that it's a big con. Folks, I don't know why more people don't see this, but when I started making these videos, of course, all these uh, <clears throat> uh, financial people out there that get you to invest with them in the stock market and they control all your monies and all that, they hate these videos. Why? Because they make money on you using them for them to tell you what to do with your money. The last thing the government wants to know is that you want to start drawing your Social Security for potentially 15 or 20 years versus collecting it for four or five years and then dying. You're no good to the government if you're not out working, putting money into the kitty. All you're doing is taking. That's like car insurance. We want you to pay us, but we don't have to fix your car. They just want to take, but they don't want to give. Well, how do you beat it? How do you get yours? You start collecting your Social Security at 62 years old. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to need to work a little bit, but it isn't going to be like going to somewhere. I mean, you might not start till 3 in the afternoon. You might get up early in the morning and be done by 8 in the morning. You can choose any hours of you that you want to make a couple of grand more a month to supplement that Social Security check. And that's a game changer. Because if you've done what I said earlier in the video and gotten yourself out of debt, knowing you're going to collect that check at 62 and you don't have this many bills anymore, you've only got this many because you're preparing, then you're way ahead of the game. I mean, I go out and do whatever I want to do every day. I sleep in as long as I want to sleep, which is about, you know, six in the morning would be late for me. But I, I, I go play golf. I, I can jump up right now and hook up my camper and go travel to Laughlin, Nevada like I did uh, just a few months ago. I can go to the beach. I live in Florida. I can sit here and read a book and watch grit TV and watch some Westerns today. I don't have to do what I had to do for many, many years when I was younger. I'm retired. It's an awesome life. I'm living because nobody's promised tomorrow. Nobody. I can get hit by a bus today. I can wake up tomorrow and feel something and go to the doctor and he's going to say, you got it. And there's nothing we can do about it. We can try. We can suck all your insurance dry for about two years until you die. Or you can die quicker. So, folks, do you want to just gamble on that? Or do you want to live your life? And I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to make as much money, unless you're one of those high bread earners, which isn't the majority of the country, most people, like I said, make about 35 grand a year, and the average median household income is, I don't know, 50, 60, 65, something like that. You can Google it. And the average age is 73 for a male. And I get these people that like to leave comments when I make these videos that if you live to be 65, you got a lock on 85. 
Now, that is the silliest thing I've ever heard. That's something they got off the Social Security website. I read it yesterday. And it's just another trick to get you to think, oh, well, like me, I've got a lock on 85. I hope I live to be 85, but <clears throat> you don't live to be 85 unless you first get to 65. So that makes no sense. I could die tomorrow. But the facts are, the statistical facts are that people are dying and living only to the age average of 73 years old. I'm sure you can probably attest yourself to many family members you know and friends and co-workers that have died suddenly or got a disease, cancer, heart attack and died in their 60s. Okay, so let's get to the money now. So now we know we want to live. We know we're past halfway point. We got a lot less runway in front of us uh, than we do behind us at 62. We are already going to be degrading from 62 to 67 and on to becoming an old person that I'll be, you'll be one day. God willing, you live to be old enough to be an old person. But while you're vibrant, while you're young, while you can get kicked, check off your bucket list, while you can live and have a me day, a me year, me years, listen to this. We're going to use me as an example. I told you guys I make $1,700 a month. The Social Security website says you get 30% more or you take a 30% reduction if you collect at 62 from 67, the full retirement age. There is that other extra money you can get if you wait till you're 70, but that's just plain silly. Some people think they're waiting till 70 to get more money for their spouse in case something happens to them, but working past 67 doesn't help them. You don't get any more money on spousal uh, survivor benefits after what you are getting at 67. A lot of people don't know that. But at 62 years old, if you start collecting your Social Security and you're me, they said you get $1,700. Now, my $1,700 is going to be another $40 next year and another $40 likely the year after that and on and on and on, as it has done for 40 years. Except one year, a couple of years ago, uh, mine went up 150 bucks. Uh, when after the pandemic, we had a 8.7% COLA increase, cost of living adjustment. But that's the first time in 40 years they've ever done anything like that. And now with inflation as high as it is, how they calculate, you know how they calculate it? They calculate the last uh, two or three months of the year. And, and then that's what they base the inflation cost of living adjustment on. They don't go back and look at January when eggs were $10 a dozen and all these kinds of things. It's really kind of a ripoff. And how they think that these 2.6% is what we're going to get next year. We're shot to $40, and then they raise the Part B Medicare up another $10, so you net $30. So I'm going to use my example here. I said all that to say this. I'm going to use my example as if you never get an increase. These are the numbers etched in stone. They are cemented in. You will never get less and you will never get more. And of course you will get more, which is just, you know, we just don't have the numbers here. To keep it simple, I get $1,700 a month. If I were to wait till 67, supposedly I get 30% more. That would be $2,210 but I'm going to make it 2200. So I can either get 17 or I can get 22 if I want to keep working for five more years. That's 30% more. I said, no, no, give me my check now. Because do you know that the $1,700 a month, it's good, I got it right here. The $1,700 a month for the next five years is, uh, first of all, it's $20,400 a year, and it goes up. But remember, we're going to keep it. Never goes up. Till I die, I'm only going to get $20,400 a year, but I'm going to get more. If you multiply $20,400 for the next five years, I got hundred and two grand in the bank I've drawn without working an extra a penny, which I'm going to, and make it qu e equal to that. So it'd be like $204,000 $204, that I'll make over the next four, five years. But 
what the government's going to give me is $102,000 in the next five years because I collected on day one and let's say my twin brother over here, he said, nah, I don't go for that. I'm going to wait and get that extra, um, yeah, what does he got? $500 more here because 30% more is 2,200. That's 500 bucks. All right. So he gets $26,400 a year, but he's got to wait five years to start getting that. I've already collected 102 grand. So, at 67, when he waited to get that 26,400 versus my measly 20,400, even though I've collected 102 grand that's been deposited in my checking account, he gets his first deposit. At the end of the year, he's collected 26,400. If you subtract that from the 102,000 that I've collected, I'm still $75,600 ahead of him. Let's move forward. Let's move to the age of 70 now. That's eight years I've been collecting, and I've got $163,200 that's been deposited over eight years. I'm 70 years old now. $163,200. He's going to be collecting, my twin brother, three years now. He started at 67. He's got three years under his belt. Guess what? He's collected with that big check he's getting. $79,200. If you subtract that from the $163,200 I've collected for eight years, I'm still $84,000 ahead of him. Let's move on. Let's go to the average age of 73 when the average age of, of life expectancy. Okay. I'm going to be collecting now 11 years of $1,700 a month or $20,400 a year. I will have collected $224,400 at the age of 73 where I could potentially die somewhere. My twin brother, he started at 67, remember? So he's collected six years now. He's twice as long as he's, as he's been at 67. He's gotten six years under his belt. He's now up to $158,400. At age 73, we're both 73, my twin brother. But if you subtract his 158.4 from my 224,004, I'm still $66,000 ahead of him. 66 grand. Now we're going to both die at the age of 80. We both got lucky. We lived another seven years past the average lifespan. And we both die on the same day. Uh, ironically, at the age of 80 on our birthday. I had been collecting my Social Security for 18 years, and I drew $20,400 a year. I never got another penny. It never went up. Of course it will. And I got a lock. I have then collected $367,200 in 18 years. And... My twin brother, he decided to wait at 67. He's got 13 years now. He dies at 80 the same day as me. He's got 13 years he's been collecting the, the $500 more a month and gets $343,200 deposited into his bank, which is still $24,000 less than I collected. I still collect $24,000 all the way up to age 80, more than he did. So, some people might argue with my formula here that the 1700 that I get and my twin brother's 2200 at age 67 is actually more than 2200. It could be like 2400. Um, I don't know what formula they're using, but I'm using the 30% formula. And 1700 plus 30% is 2210. I made this 2200. So it's not accurate in that respect. But if it was $700 uh, more or $600 more, it would be so negligible that it's not even, it's still not even uh, considering waiting one month past 62. Unless 
You're making so much money at 62 and you love that job because you do have a limit on what you can make. It wouldn't do you any good because they would take it back. In fact, that year could replace one of your best years of earnings, at, uh, which is your best 35 years is what your earnings is based on. That's how they figure out how much you get. It's your best 35 years. And so if at 62, all of a sudden you started making big money, that could replace one of your best 35 years. And when they recalculate your Social Security, uh, let's say at 63, you start taking it. You quit that job or that business went out or something happened in the economy. You could get even a bigger check because uh, of a higher earning year. But you got to remember, you still lost, you know, $20,400 of not collecting that year. So it's kind of a, a bait and switch kind of a thing. But in, me, in my opinion, I'm, uh, I'm almost uh, three years now. I, I, I like two more months of collecting my Social Security for three years. I have zero regrets whatsoever. I'm making every bit as much, and in some cases more, than I get on my Social Security because I'm self-employed. And you don't have to worry about going over the earnings limit if you're self-employed because if you get a 1099, you have deductions. And if you can get enough deductions to make your earnings cap lower, your adjusted gross income, your AGI, let's say at 62, you have a trade skill. You're, you're an auto mechanic. You're a painter. You're a carpenter. And you go and you do some piece work and you make 30, 40 grand. But you had to buy saws and wood and nails and transportation and all these different things that you had to do to do your business, a cost of doing business that you can deduct as long as that net income gets down to below what the uh, maximum income is you can make on Social Security at 62, you're golden. So if you're a W-2 person, though, you got to be careful. You just don't want to make any more in any one month than you're getting than, that you're allowed to make. I think it's uh, 25 grand starting in 25. So you divide that by 12, and as long as you don't exceed that each month, you're fine. But think about it. If I make $20,400 a year and another 25 grand a year on a side hustle, I mean, I'm making 45, 50 grand a year. And I got no debt. That's a game changer, folks. And I'm living my best years of my life. I'm not still going to some, I can't even imagine. I can't even imagine going to a job. I just can't even imagine it now. Won't do it. Won't do it. I'll just keep crushing it like I'm doing. And that's what you should do. And consider collecting your Social Security at 62 like I did. Crush it.